Hey guys, uh, it's Robbie here, and I wanted to just do this short tutorial on how to fly the gyrocopter in Seven Days to Die. Um, for those of you who don't know, so all we're gonna do is you're gonna build a gyrocopter, and you're gonna put it in your hotbar like this, and when it's green, like that, you right click and place it like a block. And let's go get some gas. You're gonna need gas, I forgot. And so most people will hold E and then hit gas, but I think that's inefficient. If you hit open and then hit refuel, it does it to 100%. Whereas if you hit hold E and hit gas or where it, when it's normally there, it will take more time to refuel it. So just hit open, hit refuel, repair, whatever. Um, but anyway, so what you're gonna do is hit E and get in. And what you're gonna do is you're noticing that my camera is moving, right? If I left click, when I go to start it, so you're gonna left click one time and your camera can free rotate, okay? Your camera can free rotate and you use your arrow keys to guide it, to show it where it's supposed to go. This is amazing. <laughs> so I'm holding W right now and <laughs> Okay, 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 dude, okay. Okay, you gotta calm down. Oh, there's a zombie here, hold on. Okay. So anyway, um... <laughs> that is just funny. So anyway, I'm gonna hold A, which means left, because that's the arrow it goes, so that's what... And then I'm gonna tap W a little bit. So as you see, I'm turning left, and just a little bit of W really gets it to turn wherever you want. All right, so you're gonna hold W and shift and then press space bar to take off. All right, now C, oh, C is down angle. Now you see I'm going pretty good. Um, but here, I'll turn to the side so you can see me. So the reason I'm able to turn my camera is because I left clicked. If you left click, you can move your camera However, if you keep, if you leave it as default, here, hold on, I gotta tilt down. So, what I wanna show you is pressing space will angle it just a little bit at a time as you can hear it. Um, and C, just tapping it will angle it downward. And all you need to do is keep holding Shift and W. You don't have to do anything else. Um, so I'm gonna press space. You can hold it like this as well. And you can hold C as well like this. But I prefer to tap them to get that finite control over it. And so now, all I have to do is have a marker, like a quick place marker, and then I just turn left. So I'm, I'm just hitting A right now and just going left. Or I can hit B and go right. And same with, uh, so now I'm gonna press space and go up. And then that's really it. All you have to do is get that momentum to first take off by hitting space bar and like kind of going upward and then just hitting C. And then if you level out, you'll go for a good ways just straight. And that's pretty much it. Um, and it works with all vehicles. So if you left click when you get on the vehicle, you're going to be able to move your camera and you're going to be able to move which direction the vehicle goes with uh, your WASD keys. However, if I left click now and I turn with my mouse, he's going to try to turn that way. All right. And that's not what we want. See that? So you're going to want to just leave it left click so that you can use the, uh, so that you can use the, uh, uh, what's it called? The camera free rotation and the WSD keys. It seems easiest that way. In my opinion, I'm not sure about you guys. Here, in a second, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to land as well. Because I think that's important. Because getting off the ground is easy, but landing is hard. So, we're going to come over here to this road. Looks like our landing strip to me. So, we need to angle up more because we actually gained too much momentum going down. Okay, so there's this long strip here. Doesn't have to be a long strip. So, what you're going to do is you're going to angle down. So angle down like this, 
Now press space, pull up. And you see I'm still going down because of momentum. And that's basically what we're gonna do with this. And I'm gonna press C. Here, we're gonna get over here more. I'm gonna go press C. Angle up. And you notice I'm letting go of W. Basically, if I let go of W, the engine stops turning, meaning the rotor stops moving, all right? So, I'm gonna press space, let go of W. And that's pretty much it. And there we are. That's how you land as well. I hope this has been a good tutorial. Um, that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple once you get in the air. Landing is the hardest part. All you gotta do is just go angle down and then right before you hit the ground, quite a ways anyway, pull up and then the momentum will carry you down. All right, have a good one.